Hey guys, what's up? It's Rachel and welcome back to another video. Today we are doing a Plato's Closet 90% off clearance haul. I was kind of late to the party. Actually, my local Plato's Closet started the 90% off like I want to say like two weeks ago and I just had so much inventory at that point because my B&G trading palette had come in so I didn't want to go and get more items but now that palette is listed and I need inventory again so I popped into Plato's Closet and they still had a good amount of 90% off stuff left so I actually brought in a bag of items to sell to them and they ended up taking three items for like $13 or something but I applied that to my $17 total and ended up paying $2 and something cents for both of these bags. And the items that I brought in were free inventory um, that I just didn't feel like listing or for whatever reason didn't list. And so yeah, basically I got everything for free, kind of. So I'm really excited. We're gonna go through everything. But I do want to say that none of these items are like super high end or, you know, going to sell for a crazy amount. Most of them are probably going to sell in that $10 to $15 range, that bread and butter range. But considering I paid practically nothing for them and I got to pick them out myself, I'm very happy about it. I do like to keep my closet very stocked with low end items because I do run like a three for $25 sale every few months. And I also like to encourage bundling and things like that. So even though I do like to have a lot of high end items that obviously sell for, you know, 30 plus, I do like to keep very stocked and everything else because well some people have different budgets and overall I think it just works a lot better for my closet to have a good balance so let's get into it let me go ahead and show you guys what I got okay this first item is by the brand um, hot Mond, um, which is a brand I don't really pick up that often but I liked the style of this it's just floral has like a ruffle detail and it's off the shoulder I thought this would be so so cute for summer and even spring even though we're coming out of spring I just think that would look so nice this one's kind of a wild card um, to me let's see it's willow and root I didn't even look at the brand when I picked this up but that's what it looks like and this just reminded me of like some renaissance type of thing. It has like that lace up front. It's velvet. I just thought this would be so nice for um, renaissance season because I know some people are really into that as well as just fall. It's a great fall color. So I thought that was cute. I picked that one up. And this one is just the brand uh, Kato, which I rarely pick up, but it's also velvet. It has this floral design on it with this polka dot pattern. And I think it was a pretty good size too. And yeah, I just thought this was cute, lightweight, and just just a good um, bread and butter item. Then we have a piece by Zara, which Zara is very hit or miss for me. It has to be kind of a more special item for it to sell for a good amount. But since we were just aiming for that 10 to $15, I thought this pattern was nice and floral and it's very, lightweight and yeah also in good condition the next item is altered state which if you guys have seen my favorite bread and butter brand video i featured altered state i just really like this brand and it consistently does pretty well for me it has that high low hem with that lace it's just a pretty blue color lightweight almost like a burnout material so went ahead and grabbed that and this is just another quick item it's nike just a nike graphic tee nike does pretty well for me usually like a tee like this will go for like ten dollars or so but i went ahead and grabbed that because people do like nike a lot then we have a loft um 100 linen um like v-neck top it's pretty basic but it is linen so that's why I got it and Loft is also a really great bread and butter brand for me. I just do consistently really well with this brand so I figured that would be a good like 
15 to maybe $20 sale. This next brand I had never even heard of. Um, it's First Love, which I'm assuming is probably lower end, but I got this completely based on style. It has um, this floral embroidery going on, and I just really liked the waist, and I just thought this was so cute with this cutout back, this cutout back detail and embroidered things again do really well for me i like getting especially embroidered denim i've noticed that that's definitely a trend going on right now and this one is anna and i got this one because not only is the style really cute with these sleeves but it's also new with tags so they had it originally priced at 37 dollars so in fact, it was new with tags, good condition, and a cute style. I thought for sure I'm going to go ahead and grab that. Then we have a piece by Free People, and it is a gold sequin top. It's very oversized. It would fit a lot of different people. and has kind of an ombre effect going on at the bottom, along with this um, low back. It does have some wear in some of the sequins, which is very common with sequins if you've ever tried to sell sequins it's like impossible to get something in perfect condition with sequin but I think it'll still sell and I think it's still a good style so this brand is Chelsea and Violet which fun fact was one of the first brands to ever sell for me on Poshmark and I haven't really seen it or picked it up since then but it definitely holds a special place in my heart. And it's just this midi skirt. It's like a sweater material. I thought this would be good for fall and winter. And it's almost like a, a pencil silhouette, nice and tight bodycon. And yeah, I thought that was a good pattern. All right, the last two are shoes. And one of which, or I guess both, I'm pretty happy with and excited about. This is a pair of like suede mauve sneakers and they have a laser cut detail going on with them and they are by the brand um, One State, which I think is sold at Nordstrom. I've sold it a couple times and it sold really well and quickly. I actually got this brand for the first time in the B&G trading palette and it sold within like two days of listing it for, I wanna say like $28 or something. Now these are a little bit worn as in I just need to take a magic eraser around there and just clean up the bottoms and stuff. But overall, like the actual suede is in pretty good condition. So I was super stoked to pick these up and they would have been a dollar at the 90% off. But as I said, I only paid $2 for everything. So still a really great deal. And this last item is this pair of Circus by Sam Edelman studded heels. And they're like a taupe color and they're actually in pretty good condition. I didn't see any wear on the heel. I've noticed with heels, like, you know, at least this bottom section tends to wear very quickly, but these are in pretty good condition. Just some slight, um, like creasing right there, but nothing crazy. I liked the edgy look of like the studded detail up here. And here is that other one. It's just it's unclassed, but it's not, you know, in bad condition. So yeah, that was everything. <laughs> Thank you guys so, so much for watching. And let me know if you hit up these sales and if you have hit it up, what have you gotten? What is the best item that you found? Because I would really like to know. Anyways, <laughs> thank you guys so, so much for watching and I will see you in my next video. Bye guys. Last a little longer. Better. I wish we could go back to when we went singing in the rain. We won't fight, we'll be swinging from street lights. I wish we could.